Sudhakar Chaturvedi Kannada, Sudhakar Chaturvedi claims to have been born 20 April 1897 is an Indian Vedic scholar, Indologist, and alleged supercentenarian. At the claimed age of 121 years, 239 days, some Indian newspapers report him as the oldest living Indian. Biography <inaudible> 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 Early life Chaturvedi claims to have been born on 20 April 1897 in Bangalore, Karnataka, India or in Kyatsandra in Tumkur district, Karnataka state according to one report. One report also claims an age of 121 in 2011, which would put his birth in 1890. Freedom struggle and Vedic scholarship Chaturvedi was given his title, Chaturvedi, which literally means, Master of the Four Vedas, for his knowledge of the Vedas. He is a disciple of Swami Shraddhanand at Gurukul Kangri in Haridwar, where he got his Veda Vachaspati degree equivalent to a postgraduate degree. Chaturvedi was a contemporary of Mahatma Gandhi, whom he first met when studying the Vedas in a Gurukula in northern India. Subsequently, he became an ardent follower of Gandhian methods. He was a witness to many events in the Indian independence movement, including being an eyewitness to the 1919 Jallianwala Bagh massacre. He was known as Gandhiji's postman, as he took down and delivered letters dictated by Gandhi addressed to the viceroys or governors general. Gandhi called him Karnataki. He lost the use of his right arm in 1938 while traveling with Gandhi, when the railwayman detached the last three compartments of the train as it was struggling to climb uphill. He took part in the freedom struggle and was arrested at least 31 times during the freedom struggle, landing in prisons all over the country from Peshawar to Velour. He was offered the post of minister in the old Mysore state by Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel, which he turned down. He also campaigned for the unification of the state. Later life In his later life, he became a follower of Dayanand Saraswati of the Arya Samaj. He adopted a man named Arya Mitra as his son, and has three grandchildren. He has never married. My youth was spent in the struggle. By the time we got freedom in 1947, I was over 50 years. Who would give me a girl then? Chaturvedi was the first teacher of Sri Sri Ravi Shankar. In 2011 he took part in the India Against Corruption campaign. He lives in Jayanagar, Bangalore, Karnataka, India, and in 2010 stated he was still working for eight hours every day. This includes an hour-long lecture he gives on the Vedas every Saturday. He wakes up at 3 a.m. or 3.30, going to bed by 7 p.m. He advises people to Follow the instructions in the Vedas and a happy life awaits you. He practices a strict vegetarian diet. He says he wants to live to 300. <inaudible> Recent awards He was honored by Mutilal Banarsidas for his contributions to Indology, when it celebrated its centenary in 2003. The Karnataka Sahitya Anuvada Academy gave him an honorary award for 2007-08. In 2009 he was given a Socio-Economic Development Teacher Award by the Sri Kashi Sesha Sastri Charitable Trust. He was honored by his alma mater, Gurukul Kangri University, in 2010. In 2010 he was given a Living Legend Award by IDL Foundation at a public function where he pledged to donate his eyes. In March 2011 he was gifted a wheelchair by the IDL Foundation, sponsored by Lokayukta Santosh Hegde and began to use it. On Republic Day in 2010, he was felicitated by the Governor of Karnataka. Bibliography <inaudible> 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 Chaturvedi has written over 40 books in the Kannada language and, as of 2008, is working on the publication of Vedic texts in 20 volumes. 
He was also announced in 2002 to be heading a project of the Arya Samaj to publish a 30,000 page treatise in Kannada on Veda Beshiya, and by 2009, three of the four Vedas and six volumes of the RG Veda were released. He was the moving spirit behind the Bangalore Arya Samaj, which published the Kannada monthly magazine Veda Taranga. Upakarmata Bhavya Sandesha Halavu Nenapujalu Murtipuj Jignyas See also Longevity claims <laughs>